I dabbled briefly <laughs> freshman year, but I, I moved on to other sports for the rest of my sports career. That's right. You were quite the sports athlete in high school. Yes, I did three sports uh, for a time in yeah. high school. I was a busy girl, but then I got into the sciences. So. And here you go. <laughs> yes. For today, we are going to have a hot one. Temperatures right now are in the lower 70s, and that's before the sun is even up. So a hot start to our morning, but warm for those kids getting on the bus. Dew point is relatively low, so it doesn't feel hot and muggy. Can't say the same for when we get into the daytime high. Now looking at that almanac today, our record is 91 and our daytime high is 91. Now, if we get any warmer than that, we are breaking a record, but if we stay at 91, that is what we're gonna tie with from 1953. That's when we had that high. The Dorset Automotive Doppler radar doesn't really show light cloud coverage, but we may have some moving through, but that will clear up as we go in to the afternoon. Temperatures regionally right now are in the lower 70s, so it's still relatively warm, and as we go into the afternoon, it's gonna feel even warmer. Those southern winds are going to help bump up those temperatures. We could see gusts in the teens, which is going to make it feel a little bit warm and breezy. Now looking at those, what it feels like temperatures as we go into the afternoon. We are in the lower 90s, but it's going to feel like we're in the mid 90s. It's going to feel a little bit nicer tomorrow as we go into the day. Look at that. That daytime high is relatively low. We're in the 70s, and it's going to feel like we're in the 70s. So we're going to get a nice break from those daytime highs in the 90s. Now looking at the entire U.S., this is what's going to change those temperatures, and this is what's bringing in that light cloud coverage. If we zoom in, this is what has been happening in the past six hours or so. That is going to move out as we go into the afternoon hours, giving us a chance to warm up with plenty of sunshine. Now, Futurecast is going to show those clouds moving through, and we do have a chance of precipitation, mostly to the north of us. That will happen on Thursday as that front moves through, but for the majority of us, we are going to stay dry, and for those who do see precipitation, it will not be very much. Now, for today, high of 91. Once again, we're looking to tie a record for our daytime high. And it's going to be sunny and warm. We're going to feel like we're in the mid-90s. Now going into tonight, 69, still relatively warm for this time of year. And tomorrow, that's when we get that break. 78 degrees for our daytime high. It's going to be mostly sunny as that cold front moves through. We're going to start to feel the effects of it. And looking at the next seven days, you can really tell as we get into the weekend. 70 for our daytime high on Friday. Going into the weekend, you can see those 70s do stick around. And going into next week, we drop down to the 60s. So we're going to get those fall-like temperatures returning here in the valley. But for today, we're looking to tie a record with a high of 91.